Hey guys, welcome to another episode about R programming. In our previous episode, we have been dealing with importing uh, data from an uh, Excel document. And in this episode, I would like to go step further. Uh, I would like to modify that uh, data and I want to export that data into another Excel document. So how to do that? So first of all, uh, I am going to modify uh, data from our table. You see, first step is to import your uh, open Excel SX library, then uh, you are going to uh, import uh, data from this uh, document and then I'm going to create this uh, data frame to store our data. Well, this is not a necessary part, uh, but it's really good habit. And now I'm going to do some modification on this data frame. Let's say salary. I'm going to uh, rise salary of every person by 30% like this and I'm going to modify that uh, age uh, column I'm going to add some text to it like this and now first thing that we have to do is to create workbook like this workbook it's actually excel document and in order to append the, some uh, values to our excel document we uh, need worksheets how to do that with function Add worksheet, provide your uh, workbook or document, call it any way you like. Uh, in second argument, you're going to provide the name of uh, that worksheet. Like this, no inspiration for today. And Uh, grid lines. I like better with grid lines. You can use uh, this argument in any way you like. Now we would have to write uh, data into this worksheet and how we are going to do that with function write data provide workbook as first argument. Second argument is going to be name of uh, our worksheet first part then we are going to provide actual data in form of data frame and of course our table and now row names I'm going to use value false uh, for this case and now only thing that we have to do is to uh, save uh, this document out Save workbook. First argument is going to be, of course, workbook. Second argument is going to be actual part of our new document. New example dot Excel SX and overwrite true. Okay. Now I'm going to run this code, and you see everything went well let us check our new document so uh, let us check first this previous document you see this is document from our previous episode and now I'm going to show you this next one you see uh, we have modified uh, values uh, in uh, column age. You see for uh, every uh, value we have this string part appended and of course every value in uh, salary is uh, risen by 30%. You probably noticed that uh, style is missing in here and that is subject for some other episode. 
So this is all for this episode. If you like this content, please subscribe and see ya.